my 2008 campaign. Yeah. Yeah. Let's face it, you did not do it because you thought this was going to be a cakewalk. When you decide to support a candidate named Barack Hussein Obama, Several cops that have already gone by. I think their philosophy this year is just let us let us be the edge of the world. I think they're going to turn a blind eye to us completely, for good and for bad. So. The city of Dearborn has an ordinance, okay, that you guys can't use the mega. Okay, so if you guys continue to use that, there's not going to be a citation for it. Used it last year. Uh, if, they, if they allowed it last year, I mean, unless unless the law just came in effect this year, um, why why didn't they give us a citation last year? I don't know. I didn't. I, I wasn't a part of it last year, okay. But I just have orders that if anybody uses a megaphone, to just advise them that they're not allowed to use it. Okay, give them a warning, and if they continue to give a citation for order violation, yes. So, okay, so if we don't use a megaphone, can we throw water bottles at the crowd? So what are you going to do if they throw water bottles at us? Well, if that happens, then we'll take care of all of We got it on video. Okay, well, then you know that if you got it on video, then you can take it to the proper channel. I think, I think you don't really want to pursue the law unless it's going to happen to us. No, that's not true. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, here we go. Here we go.
kidding me with the cops. Keep your eye on this kid in the blue shirt. He's going to whip that uh, stool. Watch that. Watch those kids with those stools are going to whip. I just want a picture of the kid who throws that at us. That glass right there. All right. Put it in the middle. Put it in the middle here. Put it in the middle so they can't get used it again. My God. But the New Testament, we don't believe in that. To you, to you, all you guys need to grow up. Video camera, I don't give a fuck. Did I do something wrong? Fuck you. Hey, America, this is a fool. What are you doing here? What's the point of this? All right, that's your fool. That's what you want. This guy's recording so we can hit you. And then that's what you want. You want to talk about Mexicans? You jumped over the border? Is that what you did? Bombs? You jumped over the border, that's how you became. So why do you guys pray like this on the bed? Oh, Lord. Huh? Why don't you get on the ground like your prophets? Huh? You're Christian. That's what it says in the Bible, you stupid sheep. I know more about the Bible than you. You're fucking pathetic, bro. You go home. You know how old I am? I'm 18 years old. How old are you, man? And I'm smarter than you. I can't even point the direction to the, the camera in enough directions to catch a tenth of it. Yeah, I believe it. I think when they chop people's heads off, that's provocative. We're moving, we're moving, we're moving. We moving? Yeah, we're moving. We're moving.
jeopardizing public safety and you need to understand it's going overboard we don't have the coverage okay if we protect you and we have two officers that can protect you it'll work great it's impossible to do so you're attracting a crowd and you're affecting public safety and you need to understand that so so the signs are affecting Take public safety there. Uh, well apparently what you are saying to them and they are saying back to you is creating danger how, how many how many bottles or objects have you been hit with? <laughs> uh, I, I lost count. It's, okay, only, it's okay. only because you guys weren't around. Okay, we have but, video but of that. We don't have enough people to be with everybody at the festival. And we're not saying I can't, I can't assign a couple officers to each group. What you happen? need to bring your people out and we're going to leave. What happens is when they apply for a permit, they should have realized this would happen. Who? When, who applied for it? Well, when the city of Dearborn allows a permit, uh, then for the festival? Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, you know, I, I mean, this is common sense. Uh, we did try to contact the sheriff. Okay. And the problem is he didn't respond. We did try to contact well, the city I, I attorney. Be, I believe that the sheriff's office sent you a written response. No, no. no, no. In fact, uh, 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 my attorney said they did not. And so what, what happened, the reason why this is going on now is because of what happened last year. What happened last year is you allowed it to escalate into this. And so uh, 
Wait, you wait, guys wait, just allow. lost a lawsuit on free speech yeah. and you want to do it again. Okay. We need the lead. Well, I don't think we're going we're gonna to go anywhere. Why do you get us the bullpen that we asked for in the email? Okay, well that's a free speech zone and the Chamber of Commerce decided that they did not want a free speech zone. You're here to protect our rights. I'm here, to protect, safety. I'm here to protect everybody. Everybody. And keep safety, and get us a bullpen. And where were you when the bottles were flying? And, I was and you're, grabbing people. Well, no, there, there was officers that actually turned the other way. I mean, no, they didn't want to give up. No, well, Come on, we need to go before we get, end up with that. What, what's the problem? The problem is that one of your people is going to get hurt, or one of the crowds going to get hurt, or one of my officers going to get hurt. You know that this is just going to escalate until it's. Oh, well, if you have a couple of uniforms, like I don't we have a couple about. of uniforms. There's sure 100,000 <laughs> people who come to this festival, and I got about 25 to 30 officers. Which is two officers. If, if you think it's a threat, so you're going to jeopardize free speech. You, you want you want to stop? I'm not trying to jeopardize free speech. That's what you're doing. Keep going, please. That's what you're doing. I'm not trying to jeopardize you, you free speech. Jeopardize. No, I'm not. The whole festival is free speech. Let me ask you this. If we don't leave, are we going to get arrested? Probably. I just need to know yes or no. That's probably. like me probably saying yes, we'll let we'll stay or not. No, pro probably we will cite you all. Yes. I mean, if, that's, if that's what you want, what? I mean, I don't, I don't understand what good that does. I just need I to know if I'm going to be arrested or not, or if you just thought it was a good idea that we walk away. No, if you're I, telling me that we're going to get arrested, that's what I need to know. Well, are, you, are you telling me that we're going to get arrested? I'm, if we... I'm not telling you they're going to be arrested, but you know you are a danger to the public safety. You're disorderly. I would now, I would assume uh, you know uh, 200 angry Muslim children throwing bottles would be more of a threat than a few guys with signs. Huh? All right, hang on a second. He, he's rewarding riotous behavior. Yes. If they make us leave now, they reward riotous behavior. You need to leave. Okay. Again, I just want to make an ask. Yes. yes. So if we leave. don't leave, you're if saying you we will. If you don't leave, we're going to cite you for disorder. You're creating the disturbance in the customer. So, so you're, I mean, you're, look at your people here. Look at, look at, you know, this is crazy. And let's go. You're, you're just rewarding them for riotous behavior. You're rewarding riotous behavior. You're teaching, you're teaching that crowd that if they riot, then they're rewarded for their rioting by kicking out the people they don't want. You should have, you should have let the, you should have let those uh, missionaries pass out gospel tracts. Should have let those missionaries pass out gospel tracts. Now you've created a situation in your city where all they have to do is create a riot and they'll get whatever they want. They'll get whatever they want by causing a riot. That's what you're teaching them. They can't, they can't spare two cops to stay with us for the day, but they can spare 14 of them to kick us out. Yeah, all right. Yeah. I'm sure they need four, four, I'm sure they need four mounted police to protect the cotton candy. I came to Dearborn and all I got was a bloody forehead. <laughs> It's, it's actually, it's, that is amazing. It's actually made a cross. Now, if you're a Catholic, I realize you're going to see the Virgin Mary in there. It's, it's just that'll an angry the, Muslim. That'll be in the bruise in the back of your head. The bruise in the back of your head is, is the Virgin Mary. Uh, he's giving you flashers. No, someone's going to perform it. Uh, they, they ain't talking about the plate, brother. I don't think. Oh, he's blocking us in front. He's got his block. Yeah. Creating another disturbance, apparently. They kick us out of the festival because they can't spare any police officers to protect us. And here are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. Any in front? How many in front? How many in front? All right, that's at least twelve. That's at least twelve cops they can spare to pull us over during a police escort, but they can't 
spare two to protect us during the festival. Oh, I'm sure before I'm sure by before we get back to the car, they'll figure out something else they can arrest us for. Hey, arrest too us many, for too many people in one vehicle. Arrest us for being on the, the receiving end of rocks and garbage. We've got a law against being hit by garbage and boxes and pieces of concrete in this city. Just about anybody. John Dingle. Yeah. We knew the changes that we believed in wouldn't necessarily come quickly, but we understood that if we were determined, that we could overcome any obstacle, that we could beat any challenge. And in just three years, because of what you did in 2008, we've begun to see what change looks like. And now we've got more work to do.